fucking delete. What are you? I'm where's running with it. Can you? I love yeah. it. All right, you make him feel it, or he's gonna feel you. Dude, don't get fucked, assholes. Oh yeah! <laughs> Welcome back to the gentlemen's den. Fuck. This is gonna be a good one, folks. We're on a roller coaster ride. Are my eyes open? <laughs> Jeff to my right, Frankie to my left. On camera. In real life, though, it's the opposite direction. <laughs> Hi, guys. How was the fucking Thanksgiving, boys? It was good. Fantastic. It's always good when you Thank- get to be with the family. Full of thankfulness. Full of, full of thankfulness? Thankful of thankfulness? Yeah, I was thankful for the thankfulness. <laughs> you were very thankful. Yeah, I was very thankful. You were thankful. I'm thankful. Thankful so, for the you gotta thankfulness. You got to be thankful. Do you want to hear... Should we do the ad? We haven't done it in a hot minute. You want to do it right off the bat? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah sponsors. I, 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 sponsor. I, I, I think, our t-shirts and I think we should fanny throw, packs. should throw it out right now. I'm just saying. So yeah, we, we have the, the you know where you can get some t-shirts and this was, fanny packs and, and this and was originally mug. originally played our original sponsor. Yes, originally played on our what fourth Mm-mm. podcast, fifth podcast. I don't know. Don't remember. It was a few back. It was early. It was. I mean, legitimately, it was. It might have been the second or fourth podcast. Maybe. I think it's later, but. Uh, July twentieth might have been Bordeaux. Right. Around July twenty, around the fourth of July. Uh, so here's. Are we going to set this up? I just don't know. No, what to we're pick. listening. Reds, Angry Orchard. I want a cider, but these just aren't hard enough. Hey, honey, you looking for a hard cider that's really going to fill you up? Yeah, but who are you? The name's Butch Dixon, and I've got the hardest cider around. <laughs> Hard Dixon Cider. Give it a taste. Mmm, this is great. Told you, it comes in all kinds of flavors. Hard, harder, and my wife's favorite, she loves the hardest Dixon Cider. Thanks, Butch Dixon. (laughs) Anytime, honey. And if you like a fuller, creamier flavor, try our seasonal summer malt liquor. Thick, dark Dixon Cider. (laughs) Also, try our new 40 ounce. Huge Dixon Cider. Comes with a bonus Kid Rock's greatest <laughs> CD. You'll love Hard Dixon Cider. I guarantee it. My uh, name is in Butch Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> this, it's, I love Butch That's Dixon. That's our original sponsor. That's our original sponsor. The t-shirts are, will be up on shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den as soon as Butch sends us the design. Boom. And we're gonna have that link. He said he's to the, working on it. To the get the T-shirts, that link's gonna be on the Twitter, right? Link's always on the Twitter. Yeah, it's always on the Instagram. You can make it just a click away. It's always on the Facebook page now. Facebook page, what? What? Facebook. I don't know about that. Life. Going back to MySpace. Right. We're bringing it back. Pornhub. I watched. It. Yeah, I'm putting us up on Pornhub. 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 Dude, it's an it's an outlet <laughs> no one looks at. Everyone looks at it. Exactly. <laughs> I was going to say, they're, and they're not looking for three dudes to be sitting hey, there talking. We could make funny, like, fucking clips. Nah, you're just fucked up right now. No, nah, listen, it's, it's <laughs> been, you know, three white dudes, you know, fist each other. I'm not doing that. No. But no one's going to fist each other. It's going to be, and it's going to be like, just got fisted you. Yeah, that's quick. Exactly. Fist me? You just fisted you. Exactly. You just fisted I me. got fisted you both. That's fucking my shoulders violated right <laughs> i'm bleeding i'm bleeding what the salt brother fuck? Uh, what so, the fuck are we talking about i don't know <laughs> do we ever i just got fisted <laughs> <laughs> no i was just we were just saying what platforms we're on now yeah apparently Pornhub. we're not on Pornhub. that was the joke it's a good one i thought <laughs> So you can check us out on the normal platforms. Uh, I wanted to talk about... I really don't want to smoke this cigarette. Yeah, you do. Frankie, go on don't your right, it. buddy. <sighs> you, this, this, one's, this one you're passionate about. Let's I, well, rip, right. rip this fuck out. And no, not the, the tone. And no, not the snowboarding trip. <laughs> <laughs> so there was an a incident. I, I love listening to Sports Talk Radio, and there was an incident on one of my favorite shows where a player, Keem Hicks, on the Bears... 
was on an interview where he t- comes and talks after the games, and it, it was a conversation that went south, and where he kind of questioned, you know, Bears fans and and fans in general because well, they were their booing, team. yeah, yeah, and they asked him a question about booing, and he was kind of saying how you know he doesn't believe you should boo in your team and. You know, he's a, a Laker fan as well. He would never boo them. And, and you know, it, it started feeling kind of hard. And you could tell he had his own issue right in the beginning where he was like, I wish, you know, you could tell he was a little angst built up where he didn't want to talk about. Yeah. He's like, I, I, you know, I wish we could talk about, like, my sacks and having great performances instead of my injury. And, you know, they're, they're talking about other stuff, pie and holidays and going in. And they start talking about, like, how he's, like, you know, booing and, He's like, you got to ride this bandwagon with us, and you got to support us. You know, if the wind's blowing, ride with us. You know, we didn't we didn't mean to be where we're at right now. Like, we didn't do this on purpose to be, you know, not right. even 500 at the time. Like, we're doing everything we can to, to fight and get back and claw out of this hole and, and salvage this year. And the, the host, Tom Waddle, was like, oh, you mean you didn't mean to put your arm in between two defenders and get your arm Bust it up and, and your purpose. elbow dislocated. I'm, yeah, you didn't do that on purpose. Oh, and he's like, no, I'm kidding. Like right at the bat, and he was like, hey, what the fuck? Are, are you kidding me? And he like went off and yeah. he like yeah. said he'll never be on the show again. And like it's, he, it's an overreaction, but is right. it really an overreaction just because he's frustrated? And I get that. And you know what? Hold your composure. You're a professional. And I get that. There's moments and things that are upsetting. I get it. They were. He was kind of agreeing with him, though, because Akeem Hicks was saying, you know, oh, we didn't do this on purpose. Isn't it? And he's like, oh, you didn't do this on purpose? Like, you know, you didn't mean to put your arm in there and get well, hurt. Well, I know he was and, making a joke. Right. I and I get that. you don't want to joke about an injury. But before this is it, That's like superstition with pro athletes. Absolutely. And I hear that. Like, you never want to talk about that. Like, you want to think always positive and, and you know, you don't wish injury upon every anyone. But when he was questioning before he went off, he was he, questioning. He was, he was also, you could tell he was agitated. So absolutely. Was bothering him. Because they said something like, all right, well, you wouldn't boo for the Lakers? He's like, never. And he's like, well, what if they only scored 10 points before the half? And that's like, ah, right, poke, poke that's the bat. shots fired. Right. And yeah, then, well, yeah, what, if, was, what if they, in all honesty, they were taking shots at him? Yeah, and they're like, well, what if they had like their best players out and for load management? You wouldn't be upset a little. And then he's like, no. He's like, what? How many what ifs you got? We got a ton. You know, they're just it's banter back and forth. Yeah. So you can see, yeah, he's getting built up, and he's like, what if they haven't won a title in thirty four years? It's like, whoa. <laughs> he's like, you're taking deep shots, and I get that. And he's like, I don't even think you guys are really Bears fans. Like Tom Waddle bled for that team. Like that was his livelihood. Tom Waddle was lucky he could talk. Right. He took <laughs> shots and he went and, and did things over the middle that were unbelievable. Where you don't see in the game anymore. You know, I'm, and it's kind of better that there's people not taking hits like that because there, those were some shots. Well, Tom Waddle was the typical mid '90s white wide receiver. Which, Jim Rat, which was a guy always. that was always <laughs> he was always a slot wide receiver. Always a slot receiver. Because he ran like a five second forty. Yeah. So it was like him and Don Beebe. But he had hands. And and hands. They were, and they would run across the middle and get murdered. Just absolutely demolished. Back in the day when you could actually hit someone. Just when he made that completion. He like, got that completion. He always he got always held on down. to it. Dude, always. Chuck Cecil. Remember Chuck Cecil? He was a Packers safety. And he always broke his nose in every game. Every game his nose was broken because... Just luckily he got those new open. helmets. Because No, because he would just go fucking head first at guys like a goddamn dart. Yeah, and I do... I, I mean, the game he was much more vicious Waddle. back then. He murdered Waddle so bad Waddle's on the sidelines with a smelling salt. He did some <laughs> <a> lot of <laughs> All time hot. <laughs> just got back in the game. That's before concussion protocol happened. Well, the thing that really irks me, and I get the banter, and I can get the frustrations, and I know he's a competitor, but when he started like saying how, as a fan, you don't have the right to boo. Like as a fan, you know he's ch- he's he's challenging their loyalty, saying that they're not really fans. All right, as as a Bears fan. And growing up watching it with your father, your grandfather, like having those moments of on Sundays rooting for your team and, and never having a good performance out there, a good team on a solid offense and defense you're excited about. Like every year you're optimistic and you look at their, their names on paper and you're like, See, this team is legit. 
they Hope have you're a fans of a team for so long. You're invested into this team. It's right. a, it's a passion for you. People they put goddamn makeup on their face and you know right. put it these takes crazy a lot shoulder to pads on these games for for people. And they're expensive. I mean, it I, ain't I'll fucking cheap. Be a fan before Akeem Hicks, I'll be a fan after Akeem Hicks like don't challenge through the thick and thin. If I see a team out there that has a young quarterback that's supposed to be thriving, which last year everyone's like, look what he did in, to the Buccaneers. Yeah, he had a great game. Six touchdowns. It was amazing. You wanted to see a glimpse of that consist- consistently through the year, and you haven't. And this year he has a great game like this week. The last two weeks. It's Yeah, they're games. better against shit defenses. I want yeah. to see the consistency throughout the, the four games from the play, Eagles. Who are we playing on Thursday? The Rams. The Cowboys. Uh, the Cowboys. Cowboys. And we, we better get that win. But I'm sure they won't. I don't want to turn this into a Go Bears podcast. Yeah. I understand. But we're optimistic. <laughs> but go Bears. Go Bears. Bear down. We're optimistic but I, I, for I mean, team. you can get into – I mean, people across the world are fans of a sport. Right, and you're passionate about it. You've been invested in – I mean, I've been a Bears fan my whole life. So right. I'm, like, invested. And it's just been the same story every so year. I – Great defense, quarterback sucks. No offense. As as a Bear fan, anytime we have any any expectations on our team, we get crushed every fucking time. Right. When you have no expectations, like last year's team. 12 and 4. 12 and 4. <laughs> and that's and, what I'm saying. But the when, big thing is when can you boo? You should be allowed to boo. That's the only way you're going to let the team know on the field that your well, shit sucks. And you're not happy with their performance. Right. It it, it's, step it's it up. Not, right. It's not prepared correctly. So if you score a touchdown on the next drive, I'm going to cheer. Right. I want to see the execution that you guys are supposed to be I, I putting just, on the field. I just don't understand how an offense can fall so far back. With so much talent. In one fucking year. And in, you, you ask the question, what's the problem? Is it the coaching play calling? Is it the quarterback? Is it the line? Is it the, the, the number one uh, wide receivers that have dropped more passes than anyone in the NFL? Is it no tight end? Is, 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 it's a, is it a... Uh, Bro, Jasper Horstead. That's all I'm saying. I wanted to see why haven't they put Wims at tight end and made him a pass catching guy. He's a big 6'3". Did you see Riley right? Ridley saw the field this week? Yeah, I mean, Wims looked good last week, too. And that's what I'm saying, though. I want to see more things out Did of my team. Did you see Ry- Riley Ridley missed the fact he was supposed to report on the field in the first and quarter? And ran right across, yeah. Uh, yeah, if you noticed, he didn't play again until the fourth quarter. Yeah, see, that's the reason when they're like, why isn't this kid out there? Why isn't he ready? Well, why isn't he ready? Why hasn't he you know, prepared enough to be on the field and contribute to be a fourth-round pick and a steal, right? We got him with a steal. Everyone was saying he was a second-round first, late first, second-round talent. And we got him in the fourth, and it's like, well, steal. He can't even make the field. Well, Anthony Miller. Anthony Miller has really stepped up, yes. And I want to see more Mitch playing, Mitch less hitting talking. out routes. Yeah, a couple of those Mid- passes were Mid- good, but Mid- still a little short. Out routes you you get Miller. him on another step, and he doesn't get touched for the touchdown instead of coming five yards short. Well, that there, that's there's with, always that's room for any improvement. Of like, you think the Patriots are sitting over there like, now nah, we're good, we'll just keep doing the same thing? No, they're always changing it up. They're always coming out with new looks, finding things to work. They always have stuff in their bread basket, but... You gotta. The thing that pisses me off the worst about the fan thing basket. is... You were there with me. I mean, we've done, we've gone to these games. We've sat in shit weather. We've gone to Minnesota to travel with a group of friends to watch a game that was like... Yeah, and we booed. And we booed. Why? Because they put up nine total yards of offense in the first half. Second half. Second half or whatever. Like, are you kidding me? We stayed there the whole time. You know what I had to hear? That damn fucking horn go off every 30 seconds. Because they would get first down at the first down at the first down with Adrian Peterson just running down our throat. And real quick, second down noise, third down noise, all this shit at the game. We got these air horns right now going up. The air raid, it's a Why the fuck have they fuck. not made a bear roar to make a lot of, lot of fucking noise? Let me hear your roar and get the know. crowd screaming. They do the air raid thing now. I get that. It's the most annoying And you know what? How annoying is that horn? How annoying is it when you're at the fucking Panthers and you hear that fucking Panther... <laughs> I don't want to hear that shit. It's annoying when they get a first down. You know what? I don't or, want to bear it. or how about? Go pack, go. Right.
right. Oh. There you go. It's it's a mind fuck, and the Bears need to have something if they want to. I think it just into pisses that. the fans. It's just done to piss the fans off. Well, yeah. no, if you had the fans get into it, let me hear your roar, and they're roaring, and they have because the Bears roar. A roar, for a, first roar a roar isn't a cheer. A roar is more guttural, so it's just, it's deeper. <sighs> That's what you want. You want a loud crowd. That's what they want. You get rid of the fucking horn. I tell, well, then you I mean, gotta I have a rant. good team, huh? You gotta have a good team. Yeah, give us you a gotta get first downs to, to, to yeah. get a fucking roar. No, I, that's what I mean. I'm just saying, don't Eight. challenge us as fans because yeah. we are here through thick and thin. We are here to support our team in every way. They won two games. They should have won the last two weeks. Yeah, they should have won the Rams game. They should have won the Eagles game. They should have won the, the Chargers well, game. I'm saying they the last two wins were teams they should have beat. Oh, for sure. This is the de- they got the Cowboys coming in next. You have to win. It's first off, it's a must win period. Yeah. And second, it's the Cowboys who which ones are gonna fucking show up? Is 400 yard Dak gonna show up or right. you know 200 yard Zeke gonna show up? Well, that's why they say any any given Sunday, Sunday, you know. Yeah. I mean anything any, can happen. Yeah. So that's why I love football. It's right. one of those sports where a team can go from worst to first. And I There's love that it could be one like minute that. left, and you're if like, you're this on the top. Over. You're on the top. To you know, in basketball, you know, you know. Well, not this year, but yeah, you knew it was the Warriors. Yeah. You know, LeBron's going to be in the finals. I right. Mean, let's be well, serious. Well, lose to the Warriors. Well, the, and it's going to be the Lakers this year. No, the yes. Warriors are like three and sixteen. Oh, this year, yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm saying in the, in the with the last half a decade. Well, yeah, I mean, it was it's predictable. Patriots. Basketball is probably the most predictable. And you've seen things happen, though, in these Super Bowls and in these games. But I love that there will be a minute left and you're like, it's over. they got to go 95 yards and 38 seconds to get a touchdown. And they make it happen and you're like, nothing's over. Any, You know what I mean? you got to stay positive. There was a... Believe. Back in the Erlach or Mike Brown days, the back to back games. Oh my God, Mike Brown's my mm-hmm. favorite player of the, all time. The back to back games are the miracle pick games. sixes for Mike Brown. I just love that he was just such a little dude that laid such a fucking hit and was all over a dude, ball hawk. And when, just when it was him and Tony Parrish back there, it was <laughs> frightening. Yeah, Tony but, Parrish was fucking the most jacked safety I've ever seen in my life. That's what I mean. We've had some good defenses, and, but we can never put even a, a, a simple. Uh, not even, not even like a great yeah. offense, a manageable to just not we've turn had the burn nothing, ball over. Nothing but defensive coaches until the last two that we've had. Yeah, and Chessman was horrible. I mean, he did some things with <clears throat> the first year, but you had Brandon Marshall, Elshon <laughs> Jeffrey, Martellus Bennett, Matt Forte. I mean, you had a good line with, you know, uh, young Kyle Long coming along. You know what I mean? Coming along, you brought in Massey. Um, Dude, you're you're mixing up errors right now. I was gonna say it was Massey a little bit later. Long is a lot later. Huh. Uh, yeah, no, you're right. The, but no, yeah, the the, the, the Chessman era though, but he had all those offensive weapons. Maybe the line was the biggest problem with Cutler, but the, they had the Bush second, Rod, right? The and second year of Chessman was Long's rookie year. Okay, and that's when they really did fall. The defense was still good then. I mean, it, it, it's hard, though, to you, – you look at the offense now. What do you see? Nothing but hitch routes. Ten yards, turn around, they sit. Like I said, I, I truly think that that left shoulder of Mitch's is – I'm sure it's hindering, hindering, his, yeah. hindering his throw power. Absolutely. His mobility. I'm sure he's scared to run you, out and take a hit. You think about it. You, you ding up your you know, right shoulder and you sneeze. It's You're right. God awful painful. Pull on it. Yeah, and you you know constantly pulling or yanking under your arm or and and that's what I mean. And if it's it at out. that point, you know what? Then yeah, shut him down. If I, I mean get a surgery done, get him healthy for they, next year. If they get out of if they are out of playoff contention, yeah, they're still technically in playoff contention. Right. If they're out of playoff contention, you shut them down. Get then the they surgery will shut done. Them down. And you know what? You give him his fourth year before you re-sign him on his fifth year option, and you, you see what he can do. I, I would still even bring in a, a competition for backup and just kind of leave it in there, like, hey, yeah, you you could be the starter, but you you definitely got to beat this guy out. If you can't beat him out, then I question that's the is, end of the year for with him. Do you bring a young guy in, or do you bring a vet? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I say party. You, Fucking yeah, foul. Right. I say you, you definitely draft a guy. What happened to the draft a quarterback every year? 
I don't know, bro. I mean, take a chance on some young guy. You know what I mean? Dak was like a fourth round pick. I, I mean, there's, so, there's, so you don't want to see Marcus Mariota in a Bears nah, uniform? No. Or them trade for Cam Newton? Mm, you know, I really wouldn't mind. If Cam Newton has Cam Newton seen the field? That's what I'm saying. If I knew about his injuries, if he could hold up or not, he's an older quarterback. I, I mean, don't get Cam me wrong. Cam Newton's love for the game died for him in the Super Bowl. Yeah, you could see it in his face. Yeah, that was a bad loss. That was now he's rough. all about scarves and shit. Yeah, <laughs> you uh, see, Cam Newton's <laughs> his outfit game is out of control. It really them is. Start with them. What are we doing capri here? Capri pants. <laughs> but hey, man, he makes it work. I'm just saying, he's I got like a fucking bandana, like old mother Mother Hubbard around his. Yeah, uh, it's a babushka. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's doing with a fucking, fucking cowboy hat on top he's, of it. What is well, happening here? Out the top. Remember when Clinton Portis used to do shit like that, though? Yeah, but he was funny about it. Like, yeah. he'd put on those oversized glasses. Yeah, he looked like Bootsy Collins. Well, so that was a hipster. joke, it's though. Cool. But, yeah, now it's cool. Yeah. Now it's, like, you got uh, to be goofy. Russell Westbrook up there yeah. with those glasses. No, he is no the lenses. Most, he is the most stylish guy in the NBA. No lenses. Well, At least put about, fake lenses. He said Westbrook. He said Russell Wilson. Westbrook. Yeah, Russell Westbrook. Yeah. From the NBA. Whatever. It's not, all right, I'm not wrong. Yeah. Not right. I thought you said Whatever. Russell Wilson. So, yeah, no, he is the best dress. That's fine. If you want mother, to have to you know. just have lenses in him. If you want to wear some bullshit glasses because it's stylish and looks cool? Yeah, it's fine. At least put some lenses in them. Just say there's something like, like hey, to fool me. you know what? It's got like... You uh, have no lenses in your... It's Dudley Boy glasses. Come on, bro. Right. If it's got like a plain glass, you could be like it helps with the uh, glare on the... Uh, Laptop there. I'm watching tape. All right. Yeah. Fuck off. There. <laughs> they're, they're performance enhancing. All right. Yeah. Is that cheating? Get fucked. I can't watch the NBA. I love still watching NBA. I love the NBA. I just it's just so. Yeah, it's a different game than what we grew up on. No hands. It's checks. basically just Harden dribbling down, shooting a three, dribble, 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 dribble. dribble. Dribble, dribble. Someone goes over to set his screen. He waves him off. Dribble, dribble, dribble. <laughs> <laughs> Hop step three. Yeah. And then uh, three steps to the uh, yeah. old old uh, paint, and With then the, he's on the free throw line. Yep. It's, have it's you seen the thing? They have this like chart where it has like uh, the average of like players. So it had like free throws, and the, like oh, everybody was like down here, and Harden, and was, Harden like, was like at the top. He was like he was like four hundred ahead. 400 more free throws than, like, the next guy. That's what I'm saying. That context you get, if you can flop. Because he can, he flop, he flips. Well, that's why he averages, like, 40 points a freaking game because 30 of them are free throws. <laughs> that's the thing. They want more offense. I get that. But you should let them play a little harder. I think a lot more people get more passionate about defense. You know what I mean? It's always, a, I've always been a, a defensive guy. I like to see offense. I yeah. want my team to score. But I Offense like it. gets the glory, though. Yeah, but defense wins the game. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> the movie references. But it's true, though, man. It really is, because your defense does anchor you. And that's what I mean. Like, I know as but you much want as an exciting offense. Because you want, I mean, it's, you want those explosive right. plays, those sports and center plays, wrong, those breakaway year, well, why dunks. Do you think, and, why do you think Odell Beckham was so huge? Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, amazing catches, and, you know, he's a freak athlete. And well, that one catch. One catch. He's had some crazy other one ones. One catch. I know, but yeah. that, he was Sets like, he the was rookie, having a good, a good season. The rookie catch, on, when he does that jump back dive, one-handed, yeah, like put really, him on the map. Yeah, but he's done percent. more one-handed. It was his logo games. that catches his logo. No, he has. I mean, he is a good. He's a good catcher. But yeah, he's that good, one. He's a good route runner. Everyone kind of knew of him, but that catch, he's the whole percent. world knew about him. You know, see, guys like him, he's got we, a bad attitude. Don't get me wrong. We we miss guys like Steve Smith, who was oh, five foot nothing and would do the same shit Odell does. And just talk shit. Talk shit. Just so, so fucking vulgar. Well, he had the little man complex. Yeah. He's only, what, five You know, what, you know yeah. what that is, though? God, it, everyone it told him he'd only be a return man. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it was respect because as much shit as he would talk on the field, after the game, he'd come up to you and be like, good game. You know what I mean? It was yeah. a competitor thing. Like, I'm burning you out here. He got into so many fist fights on the field. It was great. Cortland yeah. Finnegan. <laughs> that was a fucking oh, wild yeah. one. Well, that was also Andre Johnson gave him one. We got one with Cortland Finnegan, too. Yeah. And he tried to 
hit him in the head with his helmet. <laughs> yeah, which really just happened recently. And that's another thing that got me with Akeem Hicks is like, how are you going to support that? You don't want to get hit with a helmet, don't run up. But then you want to like go off and not talk up. You know what I mean? It's just like, listen, man, he's aching to get back on the field. I, I get that. But then like, I, I don't like that he went to Twitter right afterwards and then started talking behind a computer screen. Oh, they baited me. They got me. And then saying like, you know, that's. I wonder that, if he listened back to it because it's not what he and like realized like man right. was, that yeah, really I, wasn't. I, I, I you know what I'm may saying? not have fucked up. Yeah, and it wasn't directed in, in any kind of a vicious or you know, even just to be like a rude manner. He was agreeing to go with this conversation like you guys aren't doing this on purpose. I completely understand you guys are doing everything you can. Oh yeah, you, 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 some, you, someone you, lost their fucking cool. They're frustrated. Right. Mm-hmm. You could have won that Chargers Ship game. You could have won that Eagles game. You could have won that Rams game. I mean, th- those are easy games that they should have won. You give them those three wins, we're nine and two or some shit like that. Well, they are. You're not. <laughs> they are. But you know what? That's what I mean. That's my team. Maybe yeah, I know. Three. A lot of people so, do that. They say, we, we, we drafted yeah. this guy. We took it because they've been invested forever. Well, that's the thing. Is I, I watch the Bears are the oldest team. They're 100, 100 years in the league. Yeah, but I mean, if people go in depth. Like, I watched these combines and watch these kids coming out of college and you know, look at, like, their talent-wise there and see what they do in the NFL. And, like, one of the biggest things, like, you, I think you were at the draft, we watched it together, is where I was talking up so much about how Khalil Mack was a freak and how Aaron Donald should be there when we were picking at, like, 12. And, I mean, it was breaking down where he was falling. They weren't, though. So no, we'll just yeah, leave it at that. Yeah, they were long gone. It happened. No, bro. he went the pick before us. You like to look behind. I know. I'm, I'm just saying. I would have loved to trade up when Khalil Mack fell to the Raiders. Wow. Well, but we didn't. When when we were looking at, at <laughs> getting Aaron Donald, and the Rams, who had the best defensive line at the time, went ahead and drafted him. It was it was taken right from under us. I'm just saying when you when you invest into these teams deep like that and follow them and want to see you guys succeed like. I loved watching like Roquan Smith and stuff in, in, in the combine and drafting him. The combine's fun to watch. I I enjoy it so more than you guys. I know that it's the underwear Olympics, right? <laughs> but it, th- there's other things too. Yeah, you get to always see always an offensive lineman falling over and his dick falling out of shorts. I, oh, I want to see them follow the drills. I want to see them have that commitment that they want to they want to compete. I want to see them. You do get to see some some certain things, when, how they flip their hips, their motions, their body movements. Ooh, it's all in the hips. Yeah, there, there's certain <laughs> things that you can tell with an athlete and a football player, or you know what I mean, like the football knowledge. When they tell you, all right, I want you to run this pattern and this and that, and you see the guys run the wrong route, or they're looking over their shoulder for the ball and they can't find it. Like, all right, well maybe you know what, that's not the best type of receiver. I want to find someone that has good ball location, ball hawk that could flip his hips, you know, twist his shoulders, square up. The problem with that is... I could care less. All that shit. Jamarcus Russell had the greatest combine of all time. It's true. <laughs> so, uh, what does the combine tell you? I mean, everybody can have a good day. Every, right, exactly. And you know what? That's the comp- that's the thing that's, that's horrible about it. Because these guys show up and show off. And they, they produce. And then they get a big contract. And then they just take it back. That's in every sport, though. There's and I understand that, and I wish there well, was the more Well, the combine's not like a secret test, so it's weird because they're not training for football. They're training to run drills. Right. Yeah. And I get that, and I'm just saying that's what you can kind of see the athleticism of guys and how they perform and judge. I get that. You got you got you like watching a college Anthony, tape. Anthony Thomas ran one of the slowest running back forty times ever. Bears drafted him in what the third round or something. And he ran for 1,100 yards his rookie season. Yeah, I mean, you it was steals. blowing past guys. The combine doesn't mean shit because Tom Brady was drafted in the sixth round. Yeah, no, don't get me wrong. But what I'm saying is when you follow your team, like I remember talking to the draft with you and you were like Eddie Jackson. Because I'm an Alabama fan. I understand that, but you realize that there was a guy reasons. you watch, you <laughs> watched tear it up all season, and yeah, he hurt his leg. Dude, another guy I, w- I was banking on that I was hoping was going to be there was Jalen Smith on the on the Cowboys. That, if we could have got him in the second round, we picked like five picks after him. That would have been a gr- – can you imagine him and Roquan Smith next to each other right now? Because in all honesty, Eddie Jackson – 
I wanted Ha Ha Clinton Dix when he first came out. Yeah, I wanted Langdon Collins when he first came out because those both those guys played like beasts. Yeah. Bears had shots at both of them. Yeah. And I get we passed up yeah. on guys, but you know what? We did do, I, I'll give it to, to, you know, Pace and picking up someone like Eddie Jackson late, knowing the talent, knowing he's coming off well, injury. Yeah. And Eddie's going to get paid. Yeah. Which I, I would love to pay him getting what that he's pick, worth. Getting that pick this week. Yeah, that was kind of a huge <laughs> game sealer. But at the same time, that's what I mean. Like last year when you were saying you want to see things out of Mitch, you did. Basic Mitch. Basic Mitch. <laughs> but you know what? Like, he is all right. basic this year. Playoff game. Eagles game. We need we need points. He marches down the field. He gets points. What he happened? didn't get points. He got a <laughs> fucking kicker that bounced it off the no, goddamn no, no. post. I, I, I understand that, but what I'm saying Double is dunk. you let you let the Eagles march down that field and score. We only had ten guys on the fucking field on that yeah, scoring that too. play. I know, and and I mean I don't know. You you seen. Sherrick McManus is a great coverage guy, special teamer. He let up a play there where he could have played harder on that flat with only on the two yards. All I'm going to say is that there's a lot of people listening to this podcast that don't give a shit right now. Have no, you don't give a fuck about football. I, I you're like that. you're, you're talking it, like we're only doing this to Bears fans. You're like, oh McManus and blah blah blah. This I'm someone's probably those, like, who's this? Really, a drunk Irishman at the bar? <laughs> Who the fuck's McManus? Yeah, we've 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 straight up. I half hour. Hour. Yeah, no, so I'm I mean, passionate about my teams. I and, know, and, and obviously we all are. And that's I don't, all I don't, I personally, I don't care if we just talk about like random sports. If you want to get into the booing. And get into like yeah. the collar Ka- Kaepernick not getting signed, but we can't and get like into we can't get we like can't into the down. Bears I and then start that. listing players off that no one knows what the fuck well, you're talking about. That's their name. I'm just saying the defense had chances. It's a team sport. I get it. You you build like I said together, and we're as a fan. You're and you know what you build? Thin. Family. Family. <laughs> get him a Corona. Build after a family. A game. I'm See, just saying, and Kaepernick, the lot, he fucked himself up. He had opportunity to get looked at. I'm, by a I'm lot not of touching teams. Kaepernick. I'm not because yeah, I'm not. because it's it's such a dumb. It's a dumb it's subject so to talk dumb. about. I'm I'm so but tired. But it, it is a, a uh, Kaepernick's a reality show. It they is. might as well just give him a reality show. That's it's all he just, wants. It really is reality. Beating a dead horse. Yeah. It's beating a dead horse, and I'm sorry to say that because Colin Colin was a talented quarterback. Yeah. He would make the Bears look a lot better right now. I he believe. probably. He, I think. I think he could. He's been away for so long. Let's just long. put it this way: he's better than probably every backup, backup in the NFL. Yeah. Yeah. So he should be when, signed. Out when, he should be signed. When no one wants, no one wants to deal with with the headache. Yes. So it's the attitude. But whatever. He could have twenty four teams looked at him. He decided to change it up. People could have had a visual. It'd be look different though. His, they, how different would it be if he would have won that Super Bowl? Super Bowl winning and his final year, yeah, he didn't play that well. What if no. he played lights out that year? You know he'd be on a team. Oh well, yeah, he had a horrible season. As I well mean, they year. brought Mike Vick back. And, I mean, yeah, look, Antonio hated. Brown had how many shots? Yeah, yeah, so he's just burning I bridges can't. everywhere. Yeah. Some Terrell guarantee Owens. someone will give him a shot. Terrell Owens. Yeah, but there are some guys. Terrell I mean, Owens was a bomb. Um, uh, but he Des burned bridges. Oh yeah. Des Bryant had an attitude. Yeah, thought, and you know what Des Bryant's doing right now? Nothing. Sitting at home. Yeah, and I mean, I was surprised the Saints drafted him in the one day, and he blew out his ACL. Like that's unfortunate, but like you realize that dude's only like twenty eight years old. No, he's older than that. Look it up, dude. He's, I don't dude. think he's been in the league that long, has he? He was in the league for four years or five years because it was coming know. off. The I mean, end. when you get to hire someone to be just strictly a guy to follow around and be a PR because you're scared he's going to say or do something, that's what I'm saying. It's a privilege. Own up to your responsibility. I, I mean, even if you're a great guy at work, you don't get to just come in and be a fuck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, because it fucks up the whole flow of the business. Right, because you think you can do whatever you want, then the other three fucking people that are working their ass off and doing things the right way are like, well, what the fuck am I doing this for? If, you know, this beat off over here is going to showboat and, and just think everything's expected to give to them. It's a privilege. And it's, you know, if you walk into a locker room with an attitude, it's like walking into any place with an attitude. You're not gonna people are just gonna shun you you're gonna be right. there by yourself and you're gonna quit again anyway right so that's what i mean just it, it's a team they're, sport. they're gonna welcome you in until you open your mouth it, it's supposed to be a family and i get it like people jump around from team to team but like 
you, you know, you, you're playing for a check. I I really do wish I, that I really want to get I really want to get off this topic because it's just it's one of the, it's like politics. Yeah, it's like you can talk politics. For, it really is. Yeah, and, I mean, it really is. It, it's a passion. This is supposed to be a But that's supposed outlet. to be my escape. Football exactly. is my escape. That's why I honestly, I used to watch, I do still listen to sports radio, but I don't, I used to watch like sports ESPN Center, all the time. Right. And it's like, all they did was, all it is is those shows now, like, uh, like Skip and uh, Skip. Stephen A. has. Yeah. First take, right? Arguing. Now it's just. Skip went somewhere else, and he does it. With, He's on Fox uh, Sports 1. So he does it. And then they have, what, like five more of those same type shows? Yeah. And it's like all it is is they come up with these topics about, well, what are we going to argue about? Yeah. Like when Stephen A. and Skip were together, yeah. Skip is just, he goes so over the top about the Cowboys. And Stephen A., is a Giants you know, fan. Is a loyal. So Giants he's totally fan. against the Cowboys. So then they would just they would Victor. every single day there would be a Cowboy story because you knew that that would get the ratings. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, they say that too about about Facebook. Is all the algorithms are against um, negative stuff, stuff that are going to get people fighting because that's mm-hmm. what gets people to stay on. That's and what that's what people, gets people to talk. To click, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's why Twitter ridiculous. is so negative. Holy shit, is Twitter negative? I'm not, you know me, I don't, I don't like well, social media. Well, that's glad I don't. I'm you not try, on. Right now, Twitter is the place where people go and just shit on See, it everything. was Facebook. Yeah. It's, is and, Facebook dying? And I'm pretty sure what it's it is, dead. What it is is it's a... I don't know Facebook, it's dead, is, Facebook is more of a family... Yeah, it's like we It's like a family. It's well, like that's like that gathering. good meme. Like everyone was, everyone was cool on Facebook till their parents got on. It's like, ah, <laughs> oh, this ain't because cool. once you, once your, <laughs> once your grandma's friend requesting you, yeah. it's over. You're like, I'm not posting like, nothing. I, I used to party pictures of me partying all the time, right, and now wasting. my, now my cousin from Montana is trying to add me as a friend. I'm like, oh god, she's gonna see all the shit I've been up to. Right? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's yeah, it's it's not. Yeah. You know, and like I said, Twitter. I stay away from the negativity. Twitter, don't go on Twitter. Twitter is a ball of depression. Nothing can be done right in the eyes of no. Twitter. No, no, because that's <laughs> all it is. Is for someone to hide behind it and, and talk shit. It's it's hilarious. I'll just start scrolling, and it's like, yeah. is someone gonna say something positive? But here? any census you do, no one's gonna vote a hundred percent. No, you know. But what's yeah. crazy though is it'll be like you'll be like negative, negative, negative. Oh look, it's the dodo. They're saving pit bulls. It's like <laughs> oh, see now there's the positive. Yeah, but mean, even if you like, if you do like a sense, like if you were to post something on yeah. Twitter, you know, I don't really go on there. But let's just say I put up. Do you like you know it's around the holidays? Happy Thanksgiving again, everybody. Do you like pumpkin pie? And some someone will be like, yes, I love pumpkin pie. No. Uh, it's not really that for me. Why are you asking the that? Fourth guy, guy show that pie to <laughs> fucking asshole. Whoa, whoa. It's like, whoa, whoa. whoa dude. What? <laughs> and then someone will comment on that. Hey, bro, worry about your own asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, cunt. And then it just... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then, it, then, it turns, then it turns into, oh, Trump's an asshole. So are you. <laughs> and then you'll get Trump's to... Trump's the greatest America there is. Wait, why does he need to go there? <laughs> it's, like, then, dude, it's a pumpkin pie. <laughs> I love the people in the middle of the conversation. They got that Michael Jackson. Jackson meme where he's eating popcorn. <laughs> I'm just here to read the comments. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they are good for a good life. But it is. That's but how it starts out. It's just supposed to be a nice, hey, what do you think of this dress? And it's like, yeah, I kind of like it, blah, blah, blah. And then some, you look fat as fuck. Don't and be it's a like, dick. What do you, why, do, so why do you have guy. to take it to so that extreme? want to be that guy. There's, on Twitter, there's this woman that uh, watches wrestling and then reports on it. And she's tiny. She's put on all what all the shit that's happened to her bad in her life and shit like that. And then every, it was positive for a little bit, then all of a sudden these women got on there and just start, oh, who's the skinny bitch with the bad wig? And it's just like, <laughs> dude. Like, what, yeah, what she's come fuck? she's come on here and said, I battle with depression, I was an anorexic and all this shit and you're like are you just trying to get someone to murder themselves? <laughs> some, that's what I mean. Some people it's, the negativity they is they don't have you just need that, you need that PMA. Yeah. You need that PMA. All day, every day. What it's, is it, Sam for, Sean? It's tattooed on your Positive arm. mental attitude. That's what I'm talking about. Keep it positive. You guys want to know my secret? 
to positivity. Ooh, what is the it? Cosmos, bro. <laughs> Can we play a YouTube video on here? Pull Look up at the, the stars. I need you to pull up. Oh, God. This Vortex. is the greatest investment I ever made in my life. The it helped me. The no, I need you <laughs> to type in cheers for you. Cheers in commercial. for you. Cheers for you. This is this is my secret to life, everyone. Really? I'm a very positive person. You know I love the cosmos, bro. Cheers for you? I mean, Cheers for you. You, you, How we looking here? You do like to look up at the stars. You do. You got to think positive. We got the infomercial. Oh, go up top. Yeah, know. go up top, bro. Come on. All the way. There it is right there. There it is. He Cheers says. for you. Part one of two. How long is it? No. We just play the, play the slow. The one down, down yonder. I mean, you could play it. Nah. Keep going. I mean, the visual I mean, there's is going to be hard for, for all our listeners. For a Jeff, minute? Jeff gets it's a minute. Are we going to get it? Is this, this is an infomercial. This is my key to a happy life. Uh, all right. Yeah. Keys to life. I got to turn the sound up, don't I? Oh, wait. This isn't. Yes, it is. Okay. All I right, can't so hear it. Just super excited right now. <laughs> Here, turn it back. Turn it back. Hey, yes. <laughs> Restart this bitch. I <laughs> go full screen this with this. This is what hey, just yes, keys Jamie to full life. screen. What hey, makes yes. him so happy <laughs> that he is just yeah. Oh, if you don't have this in your life, please. Unf unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to do it on this computer. Why? Because it's only through the TV. Oh, oh so we got to pick a new one. So I guess you're gonna have to go through. You're gonna have to go look up cheers. cheers. No, I want to hear it. <laughs> I want you to hear it. I want to experience oh, this together. Yeah. Then we gotta, then we gotta do it over the TV. You'll be able to hear in the background pretty shittily, but shittily. Sorry, guys. Jeff has to have this done. I need it done. Apparently, we can't play it on your phone. Oh, and then we can't hear the audio. Oh, wait a minute. Let's oh. figure this out, guys. So just start talking. <laughs> yeah, because this is just what we do. I mean, there's <laughs> no, so I went much down shit the, off the hip. I went down the fucking YouTube vortex. Like you do. I was watching, uh, you know, just bubble more bubble magic, showing the children bubble magic. How do you find the time again? I just, I find it. It's when he's taking a dump, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's my, that's my half lot. hour of... People are going to start thinking you have a problem. My half hour of peace. They already do. I live in Wisconsin, man. I eat a lot of cheese. <laughs> That's a good excuse to Everything have. up here is covered in cheese. It's okay? delicious. Cheese curds. <laughs> yes. Want to talk about the food at the fucking fried. state fair? Everything's fried. fried. Everything. Oh, we got it? Or you're just wanting to hear some encouraging words. Well, there's a solution. You can have what you want. You can do it. The finish line is closer than you think. But cheers to you, CD, is eight tracks filled Jesus with Christ, Jeff. applause. It's even <laughs> been featured on the Ellen DeGeneres Show. We're on your side. We're here for you. We believe in you. We guarantee you will be feeling better about yourself. <laughs> so this is audio what? tapes. These what? people are listening to this. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking about Akeem Hicks and we were talking about sports teams booing. Yeah. It's These are literally audio tapes that the you can buy cheering. called Cheers for You. Stop and it. And the infomercial is these people. Someone send this to Akeem Hicks. Are, are sitting down on the couch uh, with headphones on. The dude on. is doing himself like congratulations. And, and there's cheers in the background and you can hear the guy, come on, you can do it. Everyone's rooting for you. You're amazing. Sometimes you just need that encourage, <laughs> encouragement. Jeff, Jeff actually wears those while he masturbates. How dare encourage. you. It's just good. <laughs> You're amazing! Yay. Yes, I am. I'm great. <laughs> would you imagine? So great. Would you imagine beating off to the cheers for you? <laughs> That'd be like beating off in the middle of a stadium. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Look how good I am at jerking it. <laughs> oh my God, he's going left-handed. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Can you believe it, Fred? You would be a good commentator. <laughs> oh my god, he's doing the stranger. He is laying on his hand and making it go dumb. This is amazing. His final act. <gasps> Cock push up. Cock push up. 
this is what's going on in your head. And your <laughs> <bathroom>. <laughs> <It> goes wild. <laughs> It's Jesus. unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, when you guys ask me to go out and I tell you I can't, this is what I'm doing. This is what you're doing? <laughs> they're, they're thinking of con- push-up competitions? <laughs> In all honesty, we could be shooting bits with some of the shit that you come up with. Well, I mean, maybe. Maybe. I mean, That'd be a good skit. The cheers to you. The cheers to you. Positive. <laughs> positive, <laughs> positive jerk-off instructions. <laughs> you know someone's done it already, right? John's for sure putting that up on Pornhub. I'll put that up on Facebook. Let the whole going, family listen. That's going on porn up for sure. Go! I mean, when you got your cock stuffed in a blow house, <laughs> you really need some encouragement. Because your life, your life is in the toilet. <laughs> that could be a good Go! Go! You, you need all the encouragement you need. You can go the distance. You got this. Blow up your bulb down and go ahead and put your cheers for UCD on and <laughs> just light a candle. Face fuck your blow up down in the mirror. I wonder if there's the audio tape so you can listen to it in your Walkman when you're getting blown me out of the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what a lovely tea party. <laughs> Just oh <laughs> my god. Just pass the tapes around the homeless community. <laughs> Cheers for you. Cheers what for are you going to give them walkmans? Is that tape? <laughs> yeah. Just go to Goodwill and buy all I'm the tape dozens. I think that's what uh, Dominic Toretto was doing. <laughs> <laughs> He was stealing those truckloads of TVs and giving them away to the homeless. Cheers for you. He just steals me as well. I think we just solved the mystery of the big score. (laughs) (laughs) On the last truck they were supposed to rob, this is the biggest score. We've been waiting for this for cheers for you. Three months. (laughs) Cheers cheers for you. (laughs) (laughs) And extension cords to plug those TVs in. (laughs) <laughs> oh, oh fuck. fuck! I still love though that they, it's a seven-inch <laughs> screen that they're fucking stealing. <laughs> you guys have lost your shit. Oh, uh, well, we needed this. We were talking too much about football. Oh, had, shit was, we just had to have the fucking can adrenaline. We just start dump. the podcast here because I guarantee you about. Halfway through, and we'll halfway through our football. I guarantee 50 minutes in, they're like, Fuck who the fuck is right? McMahon? Is? <laughs> <laughs> is he fighting Cowboy? No, oh, that's McGregor. Yeah, Ooh. that was announced. Pretty pumped about that. McGregor versus Cowboy, and uh, yeah. <laughs> you fucking clowns. I'm sorry. I'm just thinking of some guy getting his dick sucked by the ball <laughs> down <laughs> behind the dumpster. <laughs> Listening to cheers for you. <laughs> I can't get the image out of my head. <laughs> you guys try and fucking sleep tonight. <laughs> you guys fucking try and sleep tonight. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, oh fucking God dumpster damn. damn. Yeah. <laughs> this is a moment in the mind of Jeff. I guarantee you're going to be thinking about this your whole ride home. No, I'm not. I guarantee you. Dirty, I'm dirty not going to What happened with Dumpster Dan? <laughs> Did he have the cheers for you playing? I had to have. I oh can't wait. God. I'm going to buy it just. Uh, I think I might try beating off to the cheers. <laughs> Don't spit try water on me. <laughs> Don't fucking spit that water on me. Oh my god, that was almost a spit take. <laughs> Sean always swallows. <laughs> <laughs> Gargle <the> gravy. <laughs> Bring it out. Oh look. boy. <laughs> oh god. Oh man. Where are the wheels? Oh, oh man. We had some candy earlier. <laughs> 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 Oh, I can't fucking believe. Oh, oh Sean and I sorry. had some special candy. Uh, and uh, I, feel a lot I, think better. Start- <laughs> I think it's starting to kick in. Yeah, I would say a little bit ago it might have kicked in. Well, Fra- Frankie talking about the Bears for... I could talk <laughs> all day. day. <laughs> that was the longest 30 minutes of my I life. I was falling asleep. I think it's a two words the whole thing. <laughs> we just let Frankie go because Frankie has been stewing about I'm, it for a while. I'm upset so about it. I'm passionate I about know. my teams. You are. We let you We let you vent. You guys want to talk about going up north? No. The greatest no. analogy to foot, this football season is went and seen the Joker movie. 
<laughs> and he said it's not a tragedy it's not a tragedy it's a comedy and that's the way i look at the chicago bears <laughs> this year so i'm just gonna say that that's my rant for football and that i used to think talk. the bears season this year was a tragedy and now i realize you know, it's a comedy we, we get these things like like uh, so we were watching the game and sean texts me and he's all like hard count mitch and i'm like yeah hard count mitch <laughs> even my phone <laughs> auto corrects it's hard count bitch <laughs> i'm like oh fuck see it, it could tell my frustrations <laughs> you ever well, had fucking auto correct yeah <sighs> Autocorrect is killing me. Right? It's fucking the worst. I mean, sometimes it gets it right. Well, I right. swear so much that my phone just automatically transfers <laughs> everything. Someone will text me like, oh, what are you doing? I'm trucking. I'll be done in a bit. I'm fucking done with this shit. Want me to send? No. no. What the fuck are you talking about? Siri, you get you, pull your head out of your fucking ass. I was like... Today, when I when you like, you want anything from the Chinese food? I, yeah, I said teriyaki beef sticks and, and girls and the girls. <laughs> and the, and I said, teriyaki beef sticks and girls, and that's like no and girls. girls. <laughs> so teriyaki beef sticks and a girls and a girls. That sounds like a good meal. Say <laughs> I'm just like egg rolls, egg rolls, egg rolls. Fucking, fucking auto rolls. Correct. It wasn't the egg rolls. It wasn't yeah. egg girls. It was egg rolls. <laughs> I mean, Siri needs to step her game up. Start listening, dumb bitch. I wish you could change your name to what she calls you, because I would put it. I would put it on the British guy, and then I would change my name to Alfred. You can, or no, Mister Mister Wayne. Really, you can. Can you? Yeah. So, you, like, when you, I'm like, not so good with the technology. What's go, the weather you, like today? And it's some English gentleman. And he says, Mr. Wayne, it's... He says, Master Wayne, it's... 35 degrees, yeah. Master Wayne. Stop it. Yeah, you can do that. We're setting it up after this All fucking right, Master podcast. Master Wayne. Because there was the guy that... Didn't you see the video? It's an old Vine video where he goes, Your name is Scott, but you want me to call you Vagina, 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 Vagina. <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps going for like three minutes. I see. I, I didn't know your phone could do all that technology. You know, it's crazy. Anyone with... Uh, uh, iPhone, say, hey, Siri. Don't do it. Well, my phone will turn on. Yeah. I see a little silhouette of a man. It yeah. will sing the entire Queen song. <laughs> and it won't stop. So if you want to piss someone off, just do it to their phone. And Jeff does it all the hey, time. Hey, Siri. Don't do it. Shut up. I see a little silhouette of a man. See, that's the best Garmouch. I wonder, Garmouch. I wonder if anyone's phone did it in their cars or wherever they were sitting. I hope not. <laughs> Google it. Try it. Google iPhone, Google. iPhone people. Yeah, I Google it. It said you fucking suck. <laughs> it says you fucking blow. That was O-Town's website. <laughs> <laughs> I told him to Google it. Movie reference. Which is on Netflix. I just yeah. yeah. The goods. I, gotta, I gotta check it out. There's so a hidden like, gem. Comedy gem. So great. Check out the goods. God, the... <laughs> is it wrong that I want to have sex with a 10-year-old boy? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> That's a great Even movie. if he's in a 40 year old body? Yeah. It's still, it's yeah. still alive. <laughs> Such a great movie. I want to make love. I didn't realize Well, if you guys are telling boring. someone about a movie, you should probably shouldn't yeah. tell a rape joke. <laughs> you should probably say, like, something yeah, like this isn't a Hey, spoiler. go see this movie. This isn't a TGD spoiler. TGD spoils. Yeah, we Ooh. can do the goods. Yeah, I know that yeah, movie from back. One. Oh yeah, I know that movie. <laughs> yeah, right. So check it out in the recent weeks so you could yeah, follow so up with us. We'll do a TGD we'll, spoils yeah. on it. I want you guys to watch Beer League too. So uh, I don't have to check that. I, out ha- I have this. I have that on. What's a, that on? Do, do I have that on a Blu-ray? But what's it on though? Oh, it's a movie. Yeah, <laughs> I thought we were talking about a. No, no, no. Beer Beer League. It's called. It's about Beer League softball. Artie Lang before his nose caved in his face from all the cocaine. Oh, Jesus. Right. It's it's New Jersey Bar League softball, and it's hilarious. So I'm the next four that. weeks <clears throat> is going to be all in December, and we're going to be doing some movie reviews of Christmas movies. We want to do Christmas, Christmas movies. Christmas movies. Some Christmas movies. What, what are some of the Christmas movies we're going to see? I, I'd love to hear if someone has a request to do one, you but guys, if not. Yeah. You guys said Jingle All the Way. 
I think Jingle All the Way with Well, maybe Arnold. we could put it on the Twitter. Where you put like put a poll. Twitter poll. Yeah, let's get a Twitter poll. To the whole six so people that follow us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey, six people up. <clears throat> that means you have better, in here. That means you have a better chance of getting your movie played. <laughs> really? All you need is there's going to be one on your side, yeah. <laughs> All you need is one. So what are some of the other classes? So? I, mean, I mean, there's there's a lot, but like Jingle All the Way feels like a good one. Home Alone. Are there any good Thanksgiving movies? Not a one. No. We Besides the one. Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Bad, yeah. No. Well, that's just Adam's classical. family values had that. It was a scene. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Thanksgiving yeah. scene. Why Thanksgiving, you yeah. know why though? Can you think of a one? Thanksgiving? You know why? It's mm-hmm. because Thanksgiving is a football American, holiday. American only holiday. Yeah, and you watch football. Yeah, that wouldn't. Well, all day. You would have no international sales. That's true. Yeah, back to the movie. So, Home Alone, Jingle All the Way, those are some good ones. What else? Die, Die Hard. Hard. <laughs> Die Hard. Definitely a Christmas it's movie. It's a Christmas movie. It, it does qualify. See, every year I watch A Christmas Story over and over and over. Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. over it. Yeah, I don't want to do that. No. Ooh, how about a Christmas Vacation? That is... Yeah. I'm, I'm, <clears throat> that is one of the best... Christmas movies ever. Oh, hands down. Yeah, I think that one might be... Shitter's full. <laughs> well, we always try to do, like you said... And like, everyone's got an Uncle Eddie. Yeah. Yeah. For your birthday, around, you know, same day as Christmas, you know, it's hard to get together, but we always do try to go see the new Star Wars, so that might be one of the movies that we put on there and go see the new Star Wars. Yeah. We might have yeah, to have BJ month. back on for that one. Yes, that would be a good one to go see. I know it's hard with the holidays. We'll have to try to work it out and... And plan something, but those, those I think were some good, uh, good movies there. Jingle All the Way and Home Alone and Die Hard. I mean, if you had any other choices or anyone could think of anything you'd want to see, I mean, I always love the classics like The Grinch, the original the cartoon, or uh, the Rudolph. There's a new <laughs> Grinch, another new one, yeah, like an animated one. My daughter watches it all yeah. the time on Netflix, they made it like a series. What? Oh, I got something for all the parents out there that have Netflix. There's a documentary on there called Blue Planet. It's like some it show, you know, the waves and it's all about like underwater ocean sharks. Cool shit. Yeah, but then the the guy who does the voice voiceover for it is a real English accent. Look at all the beautiful oh. fish. <laughs> Your kids will fucking pass out. That's the trick, huh? That's the trick. Well, Put on Blue Planet, Planet on Netflix, and you will your kids will go Learning to Channel. Night night. Something Channel. about the water and an English voice. <laughs> I 100 percent know how I'm gonna start falling asleep every night now. Dude, Put on Blue, Blue Planet. Planet and call I'm you up, man. I'm not gonna lie. Look at the starfish. I would get pretty fucked up, and we'd watch uh, Planet Earth, and you just watch all the different animals with like a. Music yeah, but that's like bu- 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 exciting. There's like animal chases. Yeah, I know. I'm saying that yeah, it's cool to get all fucked up and watch that shit and put on a soundtrack when it syncs it. up. <laughs> Fuck. It. We used to do that. At you ever look at the back of a twenty dollar bill, man? You put on open up two YouTube pages, and one of them you would play like an anime cartoon, and the other the one you would play yes. music, and. Play it was weird, sync. yeah. You, so you just sit there, you know, high as a kite. It was just fun, waiting dude. for them to sync up, and yeah. you're like, oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> because everything works on a four-four beat, right? In comics, in any, animation, anything, anything in life, you work on a four-four beat. You don't when you hear when you hear like a three-four beat, which is like a waltz or shit like that. It's a it, fun game, though. Yeah, it I like throws you off. I want to watch that. Uh, who's that, Sturgis? Or what was that Netflix? Sturgill Simpson. Yeah, with the it's a like a Netflix movie, but it's their whole album. Hmm, I think that'd be cool. It's all like anime. It's all anime. It looks really good. It looks so we're gonna eat some <coughs> shrooms that's a, and watch that's a, the Yellow Submarine or what? I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> that'd be that'd be a good <laughs> podcast, right? Or maybe we'll just eat a bunch of edibles and watch the Yellow Submarine. See and then bad call trip, me in two trip. weeks when I wake up. <laughs> <laughs> think, think happy thoughts, Dewey. Blue meanies. On the mind. It's on the mind. It's on the mind. <laughs> Such a good movie. Not sober. 
<laughs> yeah. I used to watch that movie all the time. Yeah. Yellow Submarine Kids, check it out. It's real good. If you're into real, the Beatles and good. you haven't seen it, then you should be slapped in the face. What? Yes. Good enough to slap your mama. Movie <laughs> 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 <Sorry>. reference. <laughs> wow. All right. Wow. 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 I feel like I'm, I'm sorry to a lot of people that I did a 30 minute rant. I wanted it to be short and sweet. I just <clears throat> I'm upset about it. Do you, bro? We, you know, we got suckered into. Yeah. Have you seen the the YouTube video? The YouTube video. You seen the YouTube video? What, what the YouTube Which one? video? <laughs> there's a couple there, on there. There's a couple billion on there. All right. I can't remember his name right now. Wow. Yeah, the Luke Wilson video. <laughs> Where they uh, say, Owen Wilson. So they put in chronological order every single time he said wow. Yeah, it's like a 45-minute video. <laughs> what? All the different ways he said wow. Wow. And what's funny <laughs> is I was wow. watching The Intern before I came over to your house. Wow. Yeah. Internship. Did he say it on the line? He, the, on the line, On yeah. the line. How many times did he say wow he, in that movie? He's on the date with the girl, and he says Really? Wow. <laughs> wow. Because <laughs> uh, when the blonde chick gives her his gives her his number after he's, you know, being an asshole for their first date. Yeah. Wow. Because she an wants asshole. him to be an asshole. It's wow. weird comedy turns so you have he's basically known for wedding crashers and, and comedies now. Right. But then remember when he's in that serious movie? Um he was like a oh, the, the, jet pilot. Yeah, the the the, <laughs> the plane goes down. I so think. he plays like a serious. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 so he plays like a badass, and it's like, what am I watching? Yeah, well, you about, can't take him seriously now. He, he was in Armageddon. He's one of the guys that died yeah. on the spaceship in Armageddon. Before the comedy. See, that's yeah. the thing with Vince Vaughn. He tried going back. Can't do it. He Can't. started as a, he started with the. He comedy. started as a as serious a pretty role. serious actor. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, I mean, he played he was swingers. You gotta look at swingers, and that it's a comedy, but it's a you know drama it's, kind of. It's a dramedy. Yeah, but he wasn't typecasted as the the quick talking. No. Hey, should I have it? Right. Yeah. You know? Even though what do you like, think? should I put in my hair slick? Movies like yeah, right. <laughs> Put a little maple syrup. Do you think he holds it up? Like, <laughs> but it just, it was like weird. Was it was good. weird he watching like that movie five, with Owen Wilson. Five or yeah. six movies in a row where he was just the same character. Yeah, both of yeah. them. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It was just. It was like Farley and Spade. <laughs> oh God, he was so yeah. good. It was a different movie, but it was the same movie. It, yeah. They could have just been sequels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Tommy, Tommy Boy and fucking Black Sheep are right. So damn you, near the same. Just called it Tommy Boy too. Yeah, <laughs> which maybe that happened. We just didn't know. No, he didn't have a brother in Tommy Ow. Boy one. Find well, out on the vortex. Kind of did on it. <laughs> Tommy <laughs> wants wings. He kind of wanted... <laughs> My fat ass. I'm hungry. Tommy <laughs> wants, wants wingies. wingies. Yeah. 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 If, if, we didn't, if we didn't get it, that's all right. I got the two we got double stack of these pizza in the trunk. Those pizzas in the trunk. You know what? Doesn't hurt so much here. <laughs> or here. <laughs> right. Oh God! Oh, shit! What happened to your face? <laughs> See, Richard. <laughs> Told you, Richard. What a great movie. Uh, God. Yeah, that's An angel. Another gem. Too, so, yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace. This yeah. is this is starting to remind me of. Uh, Turbo charge dildo. No, are we getting, are we getting nostalgic? <laughs> yeah. Are we? I, don't know. I feel like this podcast was wasted with Still all my Still thinking about Dumpster it. Dan. Dumpster Dan. Hop <laughs> on that dumpster. You could do it. Yeah. Over the Everyone's top. cheering for you. Is that jerking off or someone clapping? Cheering. A little bit of both. <laughs> all I'm saying is I'm going to, once that tape comes in, I'm going to jerk off in a... Stadium. Oh God! <laughs> Jerry's you world. Gotta, I'm you checking. Gotta, you gotta get the Jerry's VR glasses, so it's just yeah, all the right. people. So I'm Jeez. laying. Yeah. Look at all these people that are cheering for me. I'm laying on the 50 yard line star. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's world. <laughs> just beating it. They said Jerry Jones is crying. He came out of the locker room. Suck it up, you billionaire bitch. Right? <laughs> fucking crying. He's passionate, bro. Passionate. Don't boo him. And he's gonna go home and fuck his calendar wife. Yeah. Tell me you're crying. 
driving his yeah he's got a either. gold-plated toilet he's crying <laughs> as he's <laughs> shit <laughs> wiping his ass with hundred dollar bills yeah. but he's passionate man he wants his team to win yeah i guess you got a good team we're yeah, america's team are you did some are things you? and uh, yeah they, they fought really hard and i'm gonna go home and i got his home. back and he's got my back jason garrett's my coach he's got See, my back stop we can't do any more football so yeah, back just, to it. Dallas talk. We yeah. fall into it. It's just been, you know, it's, it's, and, it's that was, and that was that was cowboy yeah. talk. Yeah, cowboys. Yeah. There's only two things that come out of Texas. We're not going to mention them. <laughs> Watch Full Metal Jacket. Watch Full Metal Jacket. You'll find out. Now, a lot of great movies. Private cowboy. This podcast here tonight. Yeah, Urban Cowboy. Straight gems. We didn't talk That's about Urban Cowboy. I don't want to. I'm not backing that. We did not talk about Urban Cowboy. No, oh, that's for another podcast. You know what's podcast. really fucking killing me right now? My back, my damn spine from this damn wheeler this guy made me try. I think it's just because you're fat. Your back wheeler? Probably. Is there a weight limit on those things? Because I'm probably... <laughs> Dude, if my big it. ass rolled on it and it didn't do fucking shit, it ain't good. It helped. I, I mean... My neck and back has been killing me since I rolled on that damn roller you're all excited the, about. The chirp wheel. The chirp, Jet, yeah. The... Jeff got on that thing, and his back cracked instantly. And that felt nice. And then Kayla got it, and hers was cracking, too. I was like, Jesus Christ, Uh, you all need to get someone to step on your backs. Mine just got tighter. That's the way your boyfriend likes it. Just how your mother likes it, your back. All right, so... uh, Rough. Rough. (laughs) Rough. It's the sound dog makes rough. (laughs) You want to keep rolling? It's funny because huh? it's a big you hat. keep rolling? Where are we at? Where, what was over? I killed it all with the football talk. Where, where, I don't know. Out. What are we even talking about? Well, we're, no I one don't knows. know. Frankie didn't. Let's talk about the Bears for another hour. No, <laughs> I'm good on that. <laughs> oh, fuck. Talk about going up north on our snowboarding trip? No. I mean, we, we could talk, talk about, about football if you guys want. No. No, I think we did enough No, of real that. football. European. Yeah. <laughs> I always, wondered, I always wondered that. That little why? fucker. And that little fucker. I hate that little fucker. Why is it football? Because they have food. So they had foot, food, right? But they they had it first. Yeah. And then why would we name it football when it because. hits your foot twice a game? <laughs> I don't know, man. Because it was a foot long. Pass ball. Yeah. What handball? <laughs> is that too perverted? I mean, there can't is, call there it are, that. There is Toss a ball? game called handball. Oh, I'm sure it's played at your. What about touch ball? Every- <laughs> what about touch ball? Can we do touch <laughs> ball? Hit a racquetball <laughs> off a wall. It's I handball. Know, handball sounds too good. dirty. Let's do touch ball. That sounds better. Throw ball? They didn't really throw it back then. No, they ran the ball. They touch ball. Grab ball. It's going to get touchdowns. Touchdown ball. They should have called it American rugby. Nah, I don't like it. The A R F. American Rugby Federation <laughs> wouldn't have been more anything more American A-R-L. than that. A R L American. I like Federation better. It sounds tougher. <laughs> <laughs> Damn Federation <laughs> Football <laughs> League. Yeah, <laughs> you can't say league. What well, we call it the league? What do you? What do you? Pussy. <laughs> Goddamn <laughs> federation. Do they play underwater? I say federation. <laughs> league. Do they play underwater? A league. A league. Under the sea? A league of their own. <laughs> Good movie. See? We're just quoting them. Bang, there's bang, no, there's bang. No, there's no crying in football. But then how did... What Avoid a, the clap. What does soccer mean? What did, why we're... We're just know. like, okay, we're taking you football, see, bitch. You. We're going to call your shit deep. soccer. You're deep. Into this vortex of the fucking stars right now. These are words that are made but up. But these are crazy have, questions. All though. words yeah. are Doesn't made up. Doesn't it blow up. your mind? Yeah. Like, why was someone like, all right, the most popular sport in the world is called football. Well, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Until it comes to English speaking. <laughs> and then we're like, we'll call our stuff football, and we'll call their pussy-ass ball a soccer. soccer. How many things are stolen in this damn world? <laughs> Everything is stolen from something. But it's just crazy how blatantly we just, you know, <laughs> that's good mine. Old, good old American fashion. Mine. We put up two middle fingers. <laughs> that's our word. Not now. only are we going to take your word, we're going to call your bullshit something <laughs> else. <laughs> See, that is nothing more American than that. <laughs> just going to piss on you, basically. It's just, look, yeah. at, look at my big American dick. Fuck off. Wow. Well, they probably no had the words. conversation like we just had. Like, what do we name it? Handball, grab ball, touch ball. ball. And like, they're probably I like, like just, fuck it, take it from them. 
revolutionized it. What are you doing? It's a goddamn the federation. What are you doing? Kicking that ball with your foot? Were you some kind of footballer? Well, you're, were you? You're into wrestling. How upset were you when they changed it from the WWF World Wrestling Federation? I, now it's what World well, Wrestling Entertainment? Yeah, which it was going to be changed. <laughs> <laughs> it was going to be changed to it anyway. <laughs> Because it's an it's an entertainment company that's that's uh, nationally traded. I know, but Federation just sounds tougher. So WWF it, it does, was a that's fuck. That's when that's why men were men. But men. The, but the problem is, is the WWF lost to the World Wildlife Fund. What? Yeah, I know because of the panda bear logo. Yeah, they lost because the, the, the World they, Wildlife they lost, Fund. Uh, what is it? Is it Fund Life? or Federation? Oh, no, no, <laughs> 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 World Wildlife. It's Fund. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't give a fuck at this point. <laughs> I thought this thing was over. What are you, what are you even talking what about? What path did we just take? Well, you want to go back in here? So how, bad. how are we here? It's because we're talking about b- products being renamed. You hit everyone together and got hurt on the field? McManus. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> You got to uh, tap out. <laughs> people fucking drive off cliffs right yeah, now. Yeah, busted up his knee. <laughs> hey. Hey. Like digs? <laughs> you look like a rock star. I like digs. Oh, I like digs. Oh, hey, you know. We're losing. Birkin? We'll, we'll see y'all next week. You like Birkin? 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 Oh, yeah. Birkin? Uh, I still gotta do an ad. <laughs> And don't forget to go to shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den to get all your gentleman's den merch. Shirts, hats, beanies, sweatshirts, a midget wearing a sombrero. Fanny packs. Fanny packs, bum bags, all that shite. Just remember, shop.spreadshirt.com backslash... (laughs) The hyphen gentleman's hyphen den. Wow. Darn. I just Darn fucking this. had a free. Cut it. Shit. Oh. Cut it.